This is Dom. He's a friendly little robot that's super good at only one thing, setting up a butt ton of dominoes really, really fast. It's taken five years to get to this point. Mark Rober's videos are wacky, fun, and jam-packed with science. They're also wildly popular. 22 million YouTube subscribers tune in to watch them. And this year, he's nominated for six Streamy Awards, including Creator of the Year. Now he's working with Jimmy Kimmel on Revengineers, a new show for the Discovery Channel. Jamie Wax spent some time with Robert at a secret lab in California. <laughs> Jamie, you got to explain some stuff. For I us. will explain it all, Michelle. Good morning. It's called Crunch Labs, a massive Willy Wonka style factory filled with experiments and creations. Rober's videos and the activity kits he now offers are inspiring young people to embrace science in the classroom and as a career. Let's join him and watch Mr. Wizard. Hi, Mr. Wizard. Oh, hi, Willie. Mr. Wizard. Oh, hi, Rita. Come on in. Multiple generations have gained an interest in science and technology from entertaining experts. So I understand we're ending with a bang. Yes performing fun experiments. And so now in our case, instead of pumping, we fill this tank up with high pressure nitrogen gas. For today's audience, Mark Rober has taken that concept over the top. I think you are the new incarnation of something that has been going on a long time. You teach facts in a very fun way. Yeah, I like to hide the vegetables. Right? Like, <laughs> get kids stoked about science and education and engineering without realizing that's what's happening. I bring you in with, you know, world's largest jello pool, and it's a banger thumbnail. And it's like, what? A 15 ton jello pool? And before you know it, you're learning about chemistry and the scientific method and how he came to this. And it's not just kids who've become obsessed with his work. The biggest compliment I can get is when like a family says, like the parents are like, I love your videos. My kids also love your videos, right? So can it be like this Pixar thing where it's like it kind of works on, on many different levels? Rover worked at NASA for 10 years, then Apple for five. The precious egg. But when he got to 10 million followers, he followed his heart and his opportunities and changed direction. To be fair, I was making more money off YouTube than I was at Apple yeah. for a few years. <laughs> but then I was like, you know what, I just need to do this thing full time. So basically white shirt, cut a hole in the front, cut a hole in the back. I had like a video about a decade ago, a Halloween costume where I had an iPad in front and an iPad in back. We do a FaceTime video chat. It looks like you have a hole in your body. And uh, I uploaded it to YouTube and the next day it had like a million and a half views. It was like on the you know, front page of these websites and I was like, well, this is a cool feeling because I have more ideas. His sense of being rewarded for creative innovation began while growing up as a quiet and introverted child who didn't speak until he was four years old. In third grade, we got the standardized test back and, you know, I did pretty well on them. And my mom saw the scores and she was like, oh, I'm so sorry, but there's a mistake here. This is definitely <laughs> not my son, right? They'd always used to be like, plug in, Mark. This is like what they'd say, because I, I lacked a certain amount of common sense. But he didn't lack creative sense. It was when he was a kid that he came up with his first hack. I was like five years, six years old, and my mom asked to help with dinner. And so, you know, she had me cutting onions. So I went upstairs and got some swim goggles. And now this is like understood as a life hack. But I was like a five-year-old and there was no Buzzfeed back then to get these hacks on, right? That made such an impact on her. And I remember her laughing and just thinking it was super clever. His mother passed away from ALS just six months before he posted his first video. It's this really interesting thing where it's like, you don't know the full measure of your impact, even while you're here, you know what I mean? Like. She was the biggest influence on my life by a comfortable margin. Welcome. <laughs> the secret entrance. The idea is you come in here and you don't know that there's a super high tech lab behind this bookshelf. So here we come where theory becomes practice. This is the spot. Yeah, this is kind of the arena. So we, we build it in the other room and then we can bring it in here to test it. We visited him at Crunch Labs, his testing space slash studio outside San Francisco. And then. 
I was able to see and even try out a few of his most famous creations. Here we go. <laughs> yes, that was amazing. I have to ask you, how much danger are you actually in in these experiments? I really do try and bring the viewer along for the ride. And we don't know what will happen when we go out and do these things. So here's our first test shot. Just I want to be careful and not make kids think it's OK to take risks. Many of his proudest accomplishments have taken place outside the lab, like declaring war on the thieving squirrels in his backyard. So I was like, well, I'm a NASA engineer. I can protect my bird seed against these squirrels. So it became like a man versus squirrel thing, an obstacle course. And declaring war on thieving scam call centers. They do about $20 million a year. And we basically used engineering to come up with like smoke bombs, you know, obviously glitter bombs. We had this one time delay lunchbox and like 100 cockroaches came out. Of course, we hacked their CCTV so we could watch the whole thing unfold real time. But the point is, I made a story and I brought you along for the ride so that people would share this video. And here it is. My goal with Crunch Labs is to help you think like an engineer. His latest passion is called the Crunch Labs Build Box, a challenging educational toy that's delivered monthly. So in this one, we learn all about flywheels and sort of the quantum effect and how Frisbees fly. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> ah, look at this. So it's one thing to passively watch a video, but to get there and to be building like alongside me as I, I show you how to put it together and then teach you how it works. And so I love this idea of just making it so accessible that, you know, hopefully anyone can put themselves in my shoes and think, you know, this is a cool thing. I could do this. I could see myself as that, as an engineer. This you might recognize. Yes. This is where it all started. And all of this has led Mark Rober to his biggest and most rewarding engineering project yet, his remarkable life. And using the power of pneumatics, uh -huh. you just step off. Oh my gosh. Could you have imagined this life for you? No, and it's just so ridiculous. But do I know where I'll be 10 years from now? Absolutely not, but what I can promise you is I'm gonna keep trying my hardest on every single rock I'm on and then just see where the path leads. Uh, as I told you, wow, he is really something. And that Crunch Labs build box is a great gift if you have a creative Crunch and Labs curious kid. Yeah. I want to see Revenge in Ears now. It's right? great. You know, this the is show. what he does. If, if anyone out there has been a victim of porch pirates, has been talked about a lot. I in love the this. Season, I love this. He created these glitter bombs for porch pirates. So just Google that. Uh, that's fun enough. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jamie. Good yeah. stuff.